I received the movement that goes on its clock today. The owner didn't want to ship the clock case due to possible shipping damage. The backside has a door designed to let the sound of the bell out. A Jappy Brothers movement. The design of it dates it to possibly sometime between 1841 and 1880. Open escapement on the front dial. Owner says the bell won't stop ringing and wants it inspected. The beauty trim ring is heavy cast brass. The four mounting tabs have been cut off and there's a repaired crack on one side. The bell is made from a cast brass material. Serial number of 5307 stamped on the back plate. The French writing inside this round stamp interpret to patent applied for. I'll need to remove the bezel and the face to inspect the striking levers on the front of the plate. Two hand washers. minute hand, three screws holding the movement to the bezel, escaped wheel and bridge, three pins holding the porcelain dial ring on the movement, pallet cock and pallet assembly, Two screws holding the dial center on. The writing on the front was originally done in either India ink or paint. It's been cleaned one too many times. The top line reads A. La Renaissance. The second line is the retail seller's name and address. The bottom line is an extension of the address and reads Paris. Lettering is tough to read completely. Three pins holding the back dial support on the movement. These two levers here control the striking sequence. It's going into strike mode 10 minutes early. It's not stopping in the recessed areas of the count wheel. Here you can see it just skips the recessed area and keeps on striking non-stop. Now when it did stop, it's in the wrong part of the count wheel. The striking sequence should start at the half hour and on the hour. It's consistently starting the strike sequence at about 10 minutes before it should. Bypassing the count wheel recessed areas.
One lever is on top of the other. They're misaligned and jamming. Someone has changed their original alignment. This lift lever has a stress crack right here. Someone has bent it, trying to adjust it, and it's cracked half the way through. I'm concerned that if this lift lever was bent back to where it should be, it's gonna break right here where the crack is. Both levers have been bent, and now they're mislocated. The levers are made from cast brass, so they're quite brittle. This lever is now mislocated. It's not releasing or stopping the stop pin at the right time. Too much movement on this lift lever. The excess movement is coming from its pivot point. It should have had a bushing installed instead of bending the arm. It's so loose the other lever is sliding under it and getting stuck. This lever seems to be snug and okay. Both levers have been bent, trying to adjust for a worn pivot point. Well, I'll get these results back to the owner and see how he wants to move forward from here.